Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I'm going to show you how you can trigger various uh, automations or scenes uh, within the evening application using NFC tags. This is a fairly new development in the evening application and for this you would need NFC tags such as this one. So with this automation by placing a phone in certain places in your house you would be able to trigger lights to automatically turn on or turn off. So for example you can place one of these tags on your bedside table and whenever you go to sleep and you put your phone on your bedside table your lights are automatically go off or there would be some special place for your phone as you come in and you place your phone there and again your lights will come on and you don't have to switch them on manually. In order for these functions to work you would need a couple of NFC tags. Sonoff doesn't sell these NFC tags but uh, you can easily purchase them from AliExpress. The only requirement for these is they have to be able to contain about 200 bytes of data which is usually mentioned in the listing but I'm going to leave you a link in the video description for the Alloy Express listing where I also purchased them. And of course uh, needless to say you would need a phone which supports NFC but I think most of the phones uh, support NFC nowadays. So I think what I'm going to demonstrate now is I have an LED strip with this L2 in the study room where I am at the moment. So I'm going to create a scene that will trigger once I uh, bring this phone close to or while I place it on the NFC tag. There is one prerequisite that we have to do first. We have to enable this NFC functionality in our profile. Maybe this is not something we need to do in the future, but this is something that uh, has to be done at the moment. So in within your EVLink app, you click on profile and you go to pilot features and you have to enable this NFC here. And now you can go back. And then what you will notice is that when you go to scenes and when you want to create a new scene here, and then if you click on the triggers now you have a new option which says NFC. So what you need to do is you need to pick the uh, NFC tag that you are going to use. So for example this one and I pick NFC and then it asks me to hold the phone close to the NFC tag. So I'm just going to do like this and then we just have to wait for a couple of seconds for the EV link to uh, verify or find the NFC tag. And what we are going to see in most cases, or at least this is how it happened for me, then it shows that there is no NFC tag detected, even though you can certainly hear a beeping sound. So I think the phone has detected the NFC tag. Oh, and then you can see the pop-up in my phone that it actually found the NFC tag and it asked me if I want to use any application uh, for this. But actually I want the EVLink application to use it, but it says that no NFC tag is detected. And this is not a fault. I think what is happening here that within the factory, maybe as part of a QA process, they usually write data into this NFC tag so it is not empty. But I found an application which allows me to empty these NFC tags. Uh, for Android, I downloaded these NFC tools. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there are some similar application available for iOS as well. So I just opened this application and then uh, what it does, what I need to do first, is uh, I, within the other I have an option here to erase tag. So I'm just going to select this and I put the phone onto the tag and then it says erase complete. So now I think we are good to go to try it again in the EV link. To be on the safe side I'm going to just start the scene again so I'm going to click on plus, add triggers and NFC and I'm going to bring the phone close to the NFC tag. And now you can see a different message. So now it says that the data is written to the tag successfully. So I'm going to select done and then I can carry on with the rest of the scene setup. So I'm going to create a trigger. So I'm going to create smart device, the L2, and I want it to be turned on. And, uh, and I think I'm just going to name it as NFC light on. Okay, so this is my trigger which is uh, going to get, or this is my scene, which is going to get activated as soon as I place my phone on the NFC tag. And now we can test it out. As you can see I have placed the NFC tag here and I have the LED strip for the L2 right there at the, B, at the back of the cabinet. So that's going to light up my wall. 
as you can see, I don't necessarily have to have the EV Link application running, but it, it's, it looks like that at least for the Android phone, I need to have the phone unlocked, otherwise it's not going to detect the NFC tag. So uh, as you noticed just now, I was on the main screen, so on my home screen, as soon as I placed my phone onto the NFC tag, uh, actually the EV Link application came to the foreground and it activated the scene. So my LED is now on. As I mentioned previously, the only thing you need to make this work is you need to purchase a couple of RFC tags. Also, you need a phone which supports the NFC and also make sure that the NFC functionality on your phone is actually turned on. Otherwise, none of this is going to work. If you want to replicate this functionality, you will find purchasing links to the AliExpress listing where I purchased these NFC tags. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.